this class you work out five problems using mesh analysis problem number 1 in the circuit of figure determine the currents in various elements the power output of the source and power dissipated in resistors the circuit consists of two resistors 20 ohm 16 ohm one inductive reactance that is j12 ohm one capacitive reactance minus j10 ohms and the source voltage is 200 angle 0 or 200 plus j0 two loops this is loop 1 this is loop 2 this loop current is i1 this loop current is i2 both loop currents are in clockwise direction now i can form a matrix first step i have to form the diagonal elements the first this element is 20 minus j10 this loop resistance is 16 plus j12 minus j10 that is equal to 16 plus j2 the element which is common to 1 and 2 is minus j10 ohms here the current direction is opposite therefore minus of minus plus plus j10 plus j10 i1 i2 that is equal to v1 v1 is equal to 200 plus j0 there is no source therefore this is zero now i can easily find i1 and i2 i1 is equal to delta i1 divided by delta that is equal to 3200 plus j400 divided by 440 minus j120 therefore the loop current i1 is equal to 6.54 plus j2.69 amps in rectangular form in polar form i1 is equal to 7.07 angle 22.36 degrees similarly i can find i2 i2 is equal to delta i2 divided by delta i2 is equal to 1.15 minus j 4.23 amps in rectangular form in polar form i2 is equal to 4.38 angle minus 74.79 degrees once i know i1 and i2 i can easily find current flow through the capacitor current flow in the capacitor is ic is equal to i1 minus i2 ic is equal to 5.39 plus j 6.92 in rectangular form in polar form 8.76 angle 52.08 degrees first i have to find the power output of the source i know the voltage 200 i know the current i is equal to 7.07 power factor angle is 22.36 power p is equal to va cos theta 200 into 7.07 into cos 22.36 degrees that is equal to 1307.68 watts the next step i have to find power dissipator in the resistor power dissipator in the 20 ohm resistor is i1 square into 20 that is 7.07 the whole square into 20 that is equal to 999.70 watts similarly power dissipated in the 16 ohm resistor is i2 square into 16 that is 4.38 the whole square into 16 that is equal to 306.95 watts so power p is equal to 1307.68 watts power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor is 999.70 watts power dissipated in the 16 ohm resistor is 306.95 watts current flow through the capacitor is 8.76 angle 52.08 degrees problem number 2 find the source voltage v the voltage across 5 ohms remains 10 volts that is given the circuit consists of two resistors 5 ohm 3 ohm two inductive reactants j2 ohms j5 ohms one capacitive reactance minus j2 ohms three loops The loop current is I1. This loop current is I2. This loop current is I3. All the loop currents are in clockwise direction. I can form a matrix equation. First step, I have to form the diagonal elements. Here, this loop value is 3 plus J5. Here, 3 plus J2 minus J2. That is equal to 3. Third loop, 5 minus J2. the element which is common to loop 1 and loop 2 is 3 but the current direction is opposite therefore minus 3 minus 3 there is no element between 1 and 3 therefore 0 0 the element which is common to 2 and 3 is minus j2 the current is opposite therefore plus j2 plus j2 i1 i2 i3 that is equal to v1 which is not given we have to find v here there is no source zero here there is no source zero i can find delta delta is equal to 42 plus j 95 i can find i3 
I3 is equal to minus J6V divided by 42 plus J95. Simplify, I can find I3 is equal to minus 0.0528 minus J.0.0233 V. Here V is given, V is equal to 10. I3 into 5, that is equal to 10. I know I3. I can find, I can easily find V. V is equal to 34.62 angle 156.14 degree volts. The source voltage is 34.62 angle is 156.14 degrees. Problem number 3. Find the loop currents in the bridge network. This bridge network consists of 3 resistors. 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm. This is inductive reactance J2 ohm. This is capacitive reactance minus J4 ohms. 3 loops. This is loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. This loop current is I1, this loop current is I2, this loop current is I3. The loop current directions are clockwise. I can form a matrix equation. First step I have to find the diagonal elements. The first loop 2 plus 2, 4 plus J2, 4 plus J2. Second loop 2 plus 2 minus J4, that is 4 minus J4. Third loop 2 plus J2. The element which is common to loop 1 and loop 2 is 2. Current direction is opposite. Therefore, minus 2, minus 2. The element which is common to loop 1 and loop 3 is minus J2, minus J2. Because current direction is opposite. Minus J2, minus J2. The element which is common to loop 2 and loop 3 is 2. That is minus 2, minus 2. I1, I2, I3. That is equal to in loop 1, there is no source, 0. Loop 2, no source, 0. Loop 1, 20. I can solve the determinant. Delta is equal to 56 minus J, 16. I can find I1. I1 is equal to delta I by delta. That is equal to 3.207 plus J, 3.773 amps in rectangular form. In polar form, I1 is equal to 4.952 and 49.63 degrees. Similarly, I2, I2 is equal to delta I2 divided by delta. I2 is equal to 1.886 plus J, 3.39 amps in rectangular form. In polar form, I2 is equal to 3.88 angle 60.4 degrees. I3 is equal to delta I3 by delta. I3 is equal to 7.358 minus J, 0.734 amps in rectangular form. In polar form, 7.397 angle minus 5.85 degrees. Problem number 4, in the figure below, the value of V such that the power in the 16 ohm resistor is 400 watts. We have to find what is the source voltage V. The circuit consists of two resistors, one is 24 ohms, other is 16 ohms. Two inductive reactances, J12 ohms, J16 ohms. Three loops. This is loop 1, loop 2, loop 3. This loop current is I1, this loop current is I2, this loop current is I3. All the loop currents are in clockwise direction. We can form a mesh equation. First step you have to form the diagonal elements. The first loop 24 plus J16. The second loop 16 plus J12 plus J16, that is equal to 16 plus J28. Third row, 16 plus 24, 40. The element which is common to 1 and 2 is J16 ohms, that is minus J16, minus J16. The element which is common to loop 1 and loop 3 is 24, this is minus 24, minus 24. The element which is common to loop 2 and loop 3 is 16. This is minus 16, minus 16. I1, I2, I3 is equal to. Here the source voltage is V. The, two, the second loop, there is no source 0. Third loop, 0. We form a mesh equations. Power dissipator in the 16 ohm resistor is given 400 watts. Current flow in the 16 ohm resistor is I2 minus I3. Power dissipation is R into I square. Here R is equal to 16 ohms. 
i is equal to i2 minus i3 the whole square that is equal to 400 i2 minus i3 the whole square is equal to 400 by 16 that is equal to 25 therefore i2 minus i3 is equal to 5 amps by applying grammar's rule we can find i2 and i3 here the delta value is minus 7680 plus j 4608 I2 is equal to delta I2 divided by delta that is equal to V into J.0833. Similarly, I3 is equal to delta I3 by delta that is equal to 0 0.0165 minus J.0109 into V. So, I2 minus I3 is equal to 5 that is equal to I know I2, I know I3. I2 minus I3 is equal to V into minus 0.0165 plus j.0.1942 I can easily find V V is equal to 5 by minus 0.0165 plus j.0.1942 V is equal to 25.65 angle minus 94.8 degrees if the source voltage is 25.65 angle 94.8 in that condition the power in the 16 ohm resistor is 400 watts. Problem number 5. In the network of figure, voltage V is equal to 60 angle 0. Find V2 such that the current in the 2 plus J2 branch is 0. The circuit consists of 3 loops. This is loop 1, this loop current is I1. This is loop 2, the loop current is I2. This is loop 3, loop current is I3. Here, I1 and I2 are in clockwise direction. Where in the case of I3, direction is mentioned. Therefore, this is anti-clockwise. We can form a mesh equation. First step, we have to form the diagonal elements. The, this element is 6 plus J8. The next is 4 plus 2, 6. J8 plus J2, J10, 6 plus J10. The third loop, 12 plus 4, that is 16. The element which is common to loop 1 and loop 2 is J8. Minus J8, minus J8. There is no element which is common to loop 1 and loop 3, therefore 0, 0. The element which is common to 2 and 3, 4, the direction is same, therefore plus 4, plus 4. I1, I2, I3 is equal to 60 angle 0. Here there is no source 0. Here V2. Applying grammar's rule, we can find I2. First step we have to find delta. Here delta is equal to 864 plus J1280. I2 is equal to delta I2 divided by delta. That is equal to V2 into minus 24 minus J32 plus J7680 divided by delta. That is the equation 1. Here, the current in the element 2 plus J2 is 0. That means I2 is 0. Therefore, I2 is equal to 0. Therefore, V2 into minus 24 minus J32 is equal to minus J7680. I can find V2. V2 is equal to 192 and 36.86 degrees. So I substitute V2 in the equation 1. I can find I2 is equal to minus J7680 plus J7680. 0. So I2 is equal to 0. Here V is equal to 60 and 0. V2 is equal to 192 and 36.86 degrees. In that, in that condition, the current in the 2 plus J2 branch is 0.